These are the top six biggest artifacts that Britain stole from your country. Actually, say the English people, please, can get another half for this statue. I think I found his statue. Because Britain, once the world's most powerful empire, built huge museums filled with stolen objects from all over the world. Let's see if your country makes it to the list. Because Britain's small nation managed to steal from a country over 20 times bigger than them. Number one, they took very important pieces from India's culture. Like these Amaravati marbles that show scenes from the life of Buddha. 120 sculptures were removed from this sacred shrine and then, of course, the controversial Kohinoor diamond. Number two. Now, imagine not knowing anything about your past. That's exactly what happened to some generations in Nigeria. They have never seen one single piece of their old kingdom because it was burned to the ground by the British. Then, they took all their kingdom's bronzes, including commemorative heads, animal and human figures, and personal ornaments with which were very important to the Nigerians. These artifacts belong to us, it belongs to Nigeria, and therefore it should be returned. Number three. But let's go to the very first thing you see when you enter the museum. It's the most important stone for the country of Egypt, the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone is a icon of our Egyptian identity, and I think its home should be the Grand Museum. This 2,000-year-old stone helped scholars decode the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic texts. It's massively important. And it wasn't the only historical artifact they stole from Egypt. They took around 100,000 pieces. They took mummies, statues, and this very important gigantic head of an Egyptian pharaoh. Back then, they would have probably shipped the pyramids if they could. Number four. In Chile, when the British made it to Easter Island, they stole this piece called Hoa Hakananai, also known as Moai. It's believed to be descended directly from gods with superpowers that can benefit humanity. You have had this 150 year, the most spiritual, sweet and powerful object that you can't imagine that this how important is for us. Till this day, Easter Islanders have been trying to get their culture back from the British Museum with no success. From a symbol of religion to a symbol of democracy. Did you know that the British government also spent money to buy artifacts illegally? Number five. What you see here are the Parthenon marbles, the very symbol of the democracy of Greece. They bought it from a British man who literally stripped this marble down from the ancient Acropolis in Athens back in the 19th century. They bought a stolen piece of history. And then we have number six. The British didn't even spare the oldest library in the world. See, over 2000 years ago, the Ashurbanipal library came to life in ancient Iraq. It tells the story of the Assyrians, people who once lived in some parts of Iraq, Iran, Turkey and Syria. An incredibly important piece of history. From super valuable stones and statues to the world's oldest library and even to an entire kingdom. I can't help but ask, should the British Museum keep all these important historical pieces? Because from truly astonishing, now these objects mostly display a dark side of history. Here of exploitation, colonization, wars, and destruction. Nightfam, can we claim ownership of something that has never been truly ours in the first place? I leave you on that question today, hoping that we never have to relive that horrible part of global history.